In this video, I'm going to show you alternative keyboard shortcuts for MIDI and Reaper. So this is part two of alternative keyboard shortcuts for MIDI and Reaper. Make sure you check out part one first. Now in the previous video, we went over setting up a MIDI controller like this one to trigger actions in Reaper. But I also want to use these pads for other functions as well. That's where alternative keyboard shortcuts in Reaper 7 come in. Let's take a look. Let's go back to the actions. And we can see over here, besides the main keyboard shortcuts, we have alternative keyboard shortcuts as well. And we're going to use, in this video, Alt 1, 2, and 3. This way we can use our MIDI keyboard or controller to do many different things and not be limited to just one for each pad, fader, or knob. But let's first set up how we switch to the alternative keyboard shortcuts. Stay in main and type in Alt Toggle, and the options are all down here. I'm going to choose this one, hit Add, get a keyboard shortcut to switch to Alt 1. I'm going to use Control 1. But obviously, you can use any keyboard shortcut you want. And for this one, I'll use Control 2 and Control 3. We're just going to use those three for this video. Obviously, you could use more. So now we could switch to the Alt 1 section and change the keyboard shortcuts for this. But first, let's go to Key Map and copy the main section shortcuts to the current section. This way, they're all the same to start. And if we don't want to change some of the actions, like the ones for choosing our tracks or changing the tracks volume, those will function the same no matter what keyboard section we're in. So let's choose this, do the same for each. So let's go back to Alt 1 and put in the filter region. And I've already set up some custom actions to switch to different regions. As you can see right here, goes to region one and loops that current region. So if we choose it, it selects region one and we can play it on the fly. Do the same with region two and so on. But I wanna switch this using the pads on my MIDI controller. So if we switch this to Alt-1, go to this one, hit Add, hit our first pad, and it shows up in here. And to do this quicker, we'll turn on this option and do this for all eight of the regions. And for this one, it overwrites the stop, which is okay, because we're in Alt-1. So now in Alt-1, we can switch our regions using the drum pads. So normally it works as a transport, but if we hit the keyboard shortcut to go to Alt-1, now we can use the pads to choose our regions. And they'll play when the other one stops. So if I want to start with region two, while it's playing, I could hit region one and it'll jump to that region when region two is done. So we could try out a different arrangement, just using the pads to choose our regions. If we hit the escape key, we go back to the main keyboard section and we can use the transport again. Hit the keyboard shortcut to go to Alt-1. We're back to switching regions again. Hit the escape key and we're back to our transport. So let's set up 
Alt 2 to mute our tracks. Switch this to Alt 2, type in mute toggle, and right over here, we have actions to mute our tracks. Starting with track one, we'll go to track eight. And again, we're in Alt 2, so it's not gonna affect the other keyboard sections. Hit add, hit the first pad, and it added that trigger. Do the same for the rest. And now, if we're in Alt 2, we can mute our tracks just like this. And just hear the tracks we want by muting the others. If we want to switch our regions, go back to Alt 1, and we could hear Region 1. While still muting different parts by going to Alt 2. Switch our regions again. Go back to our transport by hitting Escape. Go into record by choosing the track we want to record into and hitting record. So let's set up one more. We'll switch it to all three and we'll use this for solo. Choose these and do the same thing again in all three. And now, if we switch to Alt 3, we could solo our tracks. Or switch to Alt 2 to mute them. We're back to Alt 1 to switch the regions we're hearing. So very quickly, we could jump around, hit Escape to use our transport, hit Alt 2 to mute and unmute our tracks, or Alt 3 to solo them. Hit escape to stop our transport. So as you can see, if we take the time to set this all up, we can use our MIDI keyboard or controller to control just about anything in Reaper. And by using the alternate keyboard shortcuts in Reaper 7, they can perform multiple functions depending on which keyboard section we're using at the moment. So that's pretty much it. That's alternative keyboard shortcuts for MIDI in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.